All right, guys, hope you're doing well. Back out here at one of my favorite sites. This river is awesome. I've hunted it a couple times in the past. Basically, I'm with Bryce here in the background and then Braden, two of my buddies out here. So uh, we're gonna hit the water and see what we can find out here. I'll let you guys know what I find. Got all the tanks set up here. So about to head into the water. Let's see what we can find below the surface. Gonna be an awesome day. Alright guys, so we're cleaning up here a little bit and uh, my buddy's pulled out this rib bone. Absolutely insane guys. Might be a little bit difficult to see but there are two big bite marks right there. Finding a lot of great whites in this area so I think they could very well be uh, great white bite marks but either way, finding a whale rib bone with bite marks on it is just so cool. It's basically evidence of predation but really cool piece. Just definitely a, a nice shelf display piece. You don't find them like this all the time, so I like to keep them when we do find them. But pretty sweet, and I'll, uh, I'll go over some of the other finds here with you guys as well. So they did really well on the teeth. Some smokers here, just absolute gems. Look at that great white, guys. Shoo! Beauty. That is insane. 
rinse it off a tiny bit get the true colors out golly big mama that is insane crazy but here are some other ones we'll do a quick pan crazy day for them look at that one guys look at the colors on that got some red and brown in it crazy crazy super sharp pristine absolutely perfect right out of the formation killer and a couple more probably clean up some of these but look look even they got the baby ones a teeny tiny little gray whites absolutely perfect that's so sick and there's that one too this one probably could be cleaned up a little bit but check out those serrations beauty that's too cool anyway great day out on the river um, I'm gonna clean up a couple of these and then uh yeah I'll show you guys what I found here all right guys so I guess this is basically gonna be part one of this video um, because as you saw in the footage previously I did find a whole entire whale so I'll show you these for right now these are the ones I pulled up today and I have to come back later to pull out the rest of them but basically I might as well show you them here laying on the bank so we've got the first huge one check out the size of that just absolutely insane huge huge vert and then this is the next one in succession or the next one in line these are associated and uh, the whole entire whale is associated meaning it is all one single whale but you can see these are some big verts so this is a definitely a big whale um, that one over there and this one over here looked like they come or came from the uh, the top of the whale more towards the skull so I'm gonna have to um, set those aside and then just uh, work on finding the next piece in line basically so we've got um, some of the ones more towards the head here boom boom and then I got to pull out the next ones and I think there's about uh, maybe nine or ten more that we're gonna have in succession here so I'm gonna get these back to the house and uh, we'll come back and uh, excavate the rest of them alright guys so today is whale day it is basically day two uh, I was gonna pull out the whale on the first day but I did run out of air and I just wanted to save uh, the rest of it for the second day. So I've got my tank filled, uh, I'm just getting my gear on. Uh, but basically I'll show you guys what it looks like one more time down below the water. It's only about uh, 10 feet down there, um, so I'll be able to pull out the whole thing here today. Um, but just looking forward to it guys, and it's uh, just an amazing find. Um, but thank you guys so much for your support, and um, please like this video if you liked it. Thanks so much, let's get started here. Alright guys, so this is actually a really big project. It's a bit bigger than I expected. Um, I actually brought some rope with me and I was just swimming around um, trying to locate the original vertebra and I actually came across the skull. So I tagged the skull with the rope so that I know exactly where it is when I come back. Um, so basically I have to go out and get more rope. Um, but basically this project is going to take me quite a while to finish. Um, these vertebra are stuck down in the formation and they are really difficult to get out of the mud slash formation. 
Um, so this is actually going to be probably a multi-series video. Um, so we'll see what we can get done today and we'll pick it up another time here.